This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you on location at MetroConnect 2019 in beautiful Miami, Florida. And I am here with Mr. Bob DeSantis. Bob is the CEO of 365 Data Centers. For our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about 365 Data Centers? 365 Data Centers is an operator of uh, uh, co-location, network, and uh, cloud and other virtual services. Uh, predominantly on the East Coast from uh, Chicago uh, up through uh, Buffalo, New York, all the way down here to Miami, Florida. And um, we, offer, we offer not only co-location services, but uh, network services, including transport and IP blended products and uh, network access products, as well as uh, cloud compute, cloud storage, um, uh, disaster recovery as a service and uh, backup as a service, um, and try to do that in a way that uh, is focused on the medium size and smaller businesses. So Bob, I know that you are undergoing some significant uh, network upgrades right now. Specifically, I believe in this area of the country. Why don't you tell yeah, our right. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that? Yeah, well, you know, the uh, the network world is uh, moving up in terms of uh, you know speeds and feeds, and uh, we have to keep up with that. Uh, you know, years ago we might have said a one gig uh, network was going to be sufficient for a while, but now it's a minimum of ten gigs and moving to a hundred gig. Uh, so we are very fortunate to be uh, have our network situated not only in our 10 data centers but in 20 other points of presence around the U.S. Uh, going all the way out to California. And again, even though we're primarily focused on the East Coast, we do have customers that have network needs. Uh, so we are doing a, a three-phase upgrade of the network. Uh, we are just about complete here in our, our uh, Florida market, uh, which is about 40% of our business. Many of our customers uh, are here, and uh, that will give us uh, much uh, much more. Uh, capacity with regard to bandwidth will give our customers uh, a lot more uh, uh, capability to uh, to reach uh, their customers and their various offices with uh, lower latency mm -hmm. and uh, give them the opportunity as well to uh, bring uh, more carriers into the network uh, that interface with the network and um, our second and third phases will bring us to all of our other eight data centers throughout the US and then to our other 20 points of presence you know over the next uh, 12 to 18 months okay so you mentioned that next 12 to 18 18 months. Mm -hmm. um, we know that uh, there are network upgrades happening. What else? Can you? Is there anything that you feel like you can divulge to us today? What else isn't happening in this industry? Right, <laughs> right. It's a great exactly. To be in, it's uh, you know, it's a concentrate, a combination of data and storage, and uh, movement of that data and storage, all of which continues to exponentially grow. Uh, so we're in the right place at the right time. Uh, what I see for us going forward, uh, now that we have taken uh, literally in less than two years uh, a couple of businesses that uh, uh, you know had some complementary assets and services and combine them into what we believe is a real hybrid data center operator at this point. Uh, what I see is us growing um, both internally and externally. Uh, on the internal side, uh, now that we have a broad product set that we can offer you know, in uh, many geographic locations throughout the U.S., uh, we're now building our sales force to be able to uh, move those products into, uh, into the markets. Um, but we're also looking to grow externally and I would, uh, I would suspect um, certainly over the next 12 months we could possibly double this business business in terms of size uh, now that we have built a very scalable platform to do that. Great, great answer, Bob. Thank you for giving us enough to uh, to pay attention to over the next year. Yeah, we really appreciate or, that. Or maybe in a shorter time period than that. Yeah. Even, even shorter. You heard it, heard it here first. Maybe even a shorter period of time. But Bob, um, we're hearing a lot about uh, technology trends uh, today. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about those trends or the trends that you are seeing um, in the space and specifically in the data center space? Sure. Well, you know, I don't want to keep going back to network but I, I would say if you're you know if you're going to be a hybrid service provider as we are you're going to be paying a lot of attention to the network for the yeah. following reasons uh, you know technology is changing all the time um, but it's really all about the speed of the network and the capacity of the network so keeping up with the um, you know with the uh, uh, up, you know the various types of manufacturer uh, equipment that's out in the marketplace is good uh, we've recently partnered with Cisco and Dell on a couple of yes. uh, various uh, initiatives and um, uh, so you know, to the extent uh, to the extent network uh, speeds can continue to grow and increase, and uh, you know, move us up towards 100 gig at some point, uh, we need to pay full attention to that. That's not only important for our network customers, for our transport, for our IP blend products, and even for our network access products. But it's also important for our cloud compute, cloud storage, and all of our other virtual offerings, such as backup and disaster recovery as a service. 
uh, because uh, those services are as good as the network and is, if the network is good then the customer feels like all that is on-prem for them and it makes it a much better customer experience. So I think the network is really the driver uh, and then keeping up with the technologies with regard to the cloud platforms. Uh, you know, how to do it cheaper, uh, you know, more storage for less cost, uh, you know, is key. So I'd say those are the two areas that, you know, we're, we see every day and deal with every day. Very good, Bob. Thank you very much for your insights today. We really appreciate it. Oh, you're really welcome. Thank you. You Thanks bet. You bet. You bet. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.